not only are you young and making that music, but the part where you're you're among like kind of a, an indie punk scene, a pretty special one, like in in Omaha, Nebraska. Clearly, the part where you're in that late '90s, like sort of slacker, kind of like don't care, just bang things out, is like I remember being heavily heavily affected by that, like inclined to act that way too. But you really did seem to make like from Fevers and Mirrors to Lifted to the two albums in a day thing, like. You seem to, to to reach for something grander or more ambitious. You even talk about ambition on one of the songs in in one of those records, but they're like they're big and they feel almost like thematic or something in in those moments. Like where what where, where was that coming from? And is that correct? Even I, yeah, no, I I think that the music we were making was whether subconsciously or whatever it i think it was a reaction like i liked you know i liked like pavement and like all that kind of slacker stuff you know but i always felt like we're making like this is our lives and like this is like what we care about most in the world so why would we pretend like we don't care you know and like i I almost feel like every record bright eyes has ever made is you know kind of a concept record and it's it's meant to be I don't know they're like little movies or whatever and I feel like a big criticism has always been like it's really pretentious and I'm like well what is pretension you know what is pretension it's like it's like is it just because we care about what we're doing and we're like making choices that are not like the easiest things to (laughs) accomplish you know, I don't know. I, to me, it doesn't feel like yeah. pretension. It just feels like, like we want to make something that's like interesting and new, and you know, maybe we like, you know, swing for the fences too much or some shit. But I don't know. I mean, if that if that's the way you are, like if if I think there's cool bands like comes to mind, like my friend like Kurt Vile. It's like his music has a sort of like laziness to it that's really cool and I like love it and but that's just his that's how he is as a person that's how he's that's his that's his style and it's dope you know but like I I think if you like are, are trying to like pretend that when you're not that it's like gonna end up being lame if you enjoyed that clip you should check out the after the deluge podcast wherever you listen to podcasts Uh, We have full episodes there, as well as right here on this YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button and maybe check out whatever's being suggested to you right here. Thanks so much.